In this video, I'll show you how to fold the origami lampshade. This video instruction is made for Sarah for her school project. Hope this is easy enough for you, and of course, for everyone who is watching this video. Okay, what you need is here four of A4 size papers, a lure, a hole punch, and scoring tools. You can use an old ballpoint pen without an ink as a scoring tool. We also need a string and some sort of adhesive. I just used glue stick today. Papers I am using today is thick papers. So somewhere around 120 GSM. So to give you a measure, photocopier paper is 80 GSM. So it's slightly thicker. It means a little hard to make an initial crease, but easy to keep the shape. So let's start. Here is the pattern of initial fold lines. So I'm gonna score the uh, horizontal lines first. If you are using thinner paper, like 80 GSM paper, you probably don't need to do the scoring steps, but because I'm using a thick paper, I'll do that. So then I'll show you how. So put the paper horizontally first, and then we're gonna divide lengths into three. So to do so, probably best to use a ruler. So A4 size paper has 21 centimeter lengths, and so we're just going to mark at 7 centimeter in 14 centimeter there. And mark the other side as well. 7 centimeter there and 14 centimeter. And then put the line through, so no ink, so you can't actually really see, but you actually make a line. So you can't see the line in this video, but when you do your paper, you'll see the scoring line. So fold there, that line. So because this is thick, I have to make a good crease. And then fold another one as well. So I want you to remember this side is actually inside of the lampshade. Turn it over and then now fold in half. As you see the pattern, so this is a valley fold. And then unfold. Then bottom line goes to the center line and unfold. Other side as well. and then unfold. So now this time, turn it over and then fold the bottom to the closest crease line. Unfold, fold again, but up to that top crease line. And then unfold, so rotate, and then do the same this side as well. Okay, put the outside on top and make it flat. So move on to the next step. So we're gonna score the paper as this pattern. Start from the bottom corner and going through the point where folding lines are crossing 
then next point and all the way to the other side then you have to do the top one there as well put the line through and keep going to make all other lines So all the scoring's done. Next step is folding using scored lines. I just turned the paper over here. Hope I'm not confusing you. So what you need to remember is the folds you are making now is mountain folds to the start of this step means outer side of the lampshade. If you happen to use the wrong side for this particular pattern, it does not make huge problem and it's easy to adjust. You just need to refold. However, I want to mention about it because with origami, it is always important to keep in mind correct side, top and bottom and so on. So that's my little tip for you. One direction of the folds done. So keep going to do the other direction. All the diagonal folds are done. Next thing is using the existing crease lines, do the accordion fold. Now pick the end which has this triangle and do the inside reverse fold like this, open up the paper and in that crease line need to reverse that fold and repeat the steps for all other parts as well. Next, open up the bottom part of the model and use the horizontal crease and refold like this. Now hold the top part like this and see this diamond shape here. Reverse the crease of this center line. So make sure that narrow part also reversed well. So when it's done, move on to next part. So another diamond shape you can see. So pinch the top and then push the center of that diamond shape and all the way down to reverse the fold. So repeat the steps to the end of the paper. Now first paper is done, 
but I just need to mention if you use the thinner paper maybe the last part this part here so staying up like this if that happens just push it down to do the reverse fold and then all of them so it looks like this so we need to make two of them so when you finish two the same so we have to do another two so another two uh, is slightly different the pattern you are folding looks like this so blue dotted lines which is valley folds they are in uh, different places so I'll show you how to fold different to the last one. So start from when you finish folding in thirds. So this time, keep this side. Last time was turn over and then fold in half. But this time, keep this side and fold in half. And fold and Fold again, bottom and top side goes to the center crease line. Then turn over, and this time bottom goes to the closest crease line. And then one on the top crease line. Rotate and repeat the steps. Folding is done. So this is how it looks this time. Now we're going to score the paper again and then this is the pattern. I will explain why we are doing this one slightly different to the first one. So because this part uh, overlaps because we are gluing uh, four papers later. So to keep the continuous fold we're overlapping as you can see we have to alternate the accordion folds and diagonal crease lines are also according to that. That's because I'm using A4 papers, which is easy to find. That's why I have to explain this logic. This logic helps you when you do the different patterns like the green lampshade you have seen the beginning of this video. Okay, let's move on. So when you finish the scoring, so we're going to fold again, so keeping the right side as uh, outside and then that's making mountain fold like this. And keep folding all the lines. And when it's done, looks like this. So use the um, existing crease line and then do the accordion folds like this. As I mentioned before, so keeping the right side is quite important. So put right side on top, looks like this. And this time that part folds first, and then open, and then do the reverse fold. And Open up the bottom part and then fold like this because there is a crease line. It's easy to do. So this part naturally folds down like this. If not, fold it down. And then you'll see the, uh, you pinch first there. And then you can see the diamond shape. So we need to reverse fold the middle or center line from top to the bottom like that. And repeat the steps. I just shape it here to make it nice. So it's all done. So we need to make two of them in looks like this. Now you folded four papers, two of them look like these and the other two look like these. So to start assembly, so pick one and then the other 
shape too, one of each. What will happen is one part of each end will glue together like this. So it doesn't really matter which paper goes on the top. So anyway, pick one and then put the glue inside. Then glue them together. Make sure creases are lining up. Then glue list of them together as well. So when it's done, we are now going to put holes on one side. So this part here is the place you're going to put the hole through so you can use this ordinary uh, hole puncher like this most of you might have this hole puncher but i have another hole puncher so i'm gonna use this one today so i will leave the first one um, on this end as it needs to be glued together with the other end so just start it from the second one keep punching through all this side but don't do the last one yet so now we're gonna glue uh, from one end to the other end so apply the glue first and then put it together like this. So after gluing them together, so then you can put the hole through. Now get the string. So we're gonna put string through the holes like this. So all the way through. Now cut the string. I don't have a light globe with cable with me to show you how. But place the light globe through the middle part and tie the string. And make sure cut the excess string from inside. Now finish the lampshade.